Ladies and gentlemen, a new patch rolled out for Red Dead Online with, for starters, a nice extra for everyone and an even nicer extra for a select few of us. So let's dive into this. First of all, this is the second patch this week. The first one had some fixes for single player and a few stability fixes for multiplayer. Nothing major at all. If you want to read the patch notes for that 1.65 gigabyte patch it was, I think, I'll, I'll link that in the description of this video. Now, let those last 15 seconds sink in. Yes, the first patch this week did not need a 10 minute video, eh? Uh, now, patch number 4 is a bit of an interesting one though. One that I will follow up with at least 2 more videos discussing microtransactions and some of the plans for future content and my thoughts on them. If you want to keep in loop on those videos, uh, might I suggest subscribing? Now, for this patch, it's basically a stability and exploit fix patch, but alongside this update, something major was added. Let's start off with the good news. Another gold gift for everyone who played Red Dead Online. 15 gold bars, not bad. The awards are being rolled out now and all the way to December 20th. All gold bars should be delivered by December 24th. If you received it, you'll get a prompt prior to launching Red Dead Online that you indeed received it. Now, additional cash will be rewarded to anyone who pre-ordered Red Dead Redemption 2 and those who purchase a special or ultimate edition. These cash bonuses will be rewarded on December 21st. The special edition owners will get 100 bucks, the ultimate edition owners get 1000 bucks, and anyone who pre-ordered gets, well, another 100 bucks. So if you pre-ordered your ultimate edition, a free 1100 bucks coming at you on December 21st. Now, before we start discussing the elephant in the room, let's look at the future of Red Dead Online. So, Rockstar said, Upcoming updates to the Red Dead Online beta. We have been pouring through incoming community input and suggestions and working on updates for early 2019 to address many popular bits of feedback, including some of new anti-grieving measures in the works and other updates to improve gameplay balance. We are also working on lots of new features, mode and additional Red Dead Online gameplay content updates that we are very excited to share more about in the new year. So anti-grieving measures are being made and I'm thinking this is going to be something like passive mode in GTA Online. Now if they do this, I hope they, it's done well. Passive popping was an exploit in GTA Online that's actually made griefers even more griefy. They could turn invincible pop out of passive mode, kill you and then go back into passive mode. So instead of making an anti-grieving measurement, they made a grieving tool. Quite funny actually. Now I hope this kind of means private lobbies if they, when they're talking about anti-grieving measures, but I am fairly certain they would have just said that if they were working on that. Uh, and if it isn't, please do passive mode well this time around Rockstar. Now the final thing, they added something that kind of rubs me the wrong way. The store has arrived in beta, two weeks after launch, in the middle of bug fixes before they worked on making the game as smooth as possible and before adding content. So I kind of think it's way too soon. First of all, on what exactly would you spend money? I would have rather seen Rockstar work on content to buy and then roll out the option to buy microtransactions. The prices on these uh, gold bars are quite heavy, $9.99 for 25 gold bars and all the way up to $350 for $99.99, $9.99, Now, the this issue, it's not per se with the microtransactions, it's really the timing that kind of feels iffy to me. If you have like the uncravable desire to buy microtransactions, well, you kind of could buy them, but there's barely anything worth buying right now. But I guess if you want to dish out the $99.99 and have the required rank, you can buy yourself the best horse and all the weapons in the game. And well, then you have that. Right now, you would actually ruin the game for yourself if you do that. There is nothing else to left to play for, really. Except for, well, the enjoyment of hunting or the PvP. But, well... Let's be very honest that uh, those aspects of the game do get old and they're getting old quite quickly. I wish that, I, that, that we saw Rockstar prioritizing content over microtransactions. This kind of, for me, feels like they had it ready from the very start, but tried to dodge criticism by implementing it like only two or three weeks later. 
but more on microtransactions in a later video. Do let me know what you think about the implementation of those and of course Red Dead Online and the course of it. Are you happy with what Rockstar has done so far? Do you think it's not enough? Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you feel you're well informed and subscribe to keep in the loop of all your Red Dead Online news. The news that is worth sharing that is. Hmm.